Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Is that your reaction to what people who want you off the spotty shortlist? Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you'll be saved. In 2015, a petition to remove Tyson Fury from the Sports Personality of the Year was initiated. More than 80,000 people have signed a petition calling for world heavyweight champion Tyson Fury to be removed from the BBC Sports Personality of the Year shortlist. The award, also known as Spotty, is considered the most prestigious in the UK. However, a few years later, the legendary boxer seemed to have a different opinion about it. I have asked to be taken off the list and they've not listened and I've even sent them a legal letter to be taken off and they're still not listening. It started right after Fury's fight against Vladimir Klitschko. This fight dominated the media coverage and the bout was hailed as the fight of the year. While the fight itself was intense and of high quality, the predominant topic of conversation was, of course, the trash talk. It's a personal business. mission for me to rid, rid boxing of a boring person like you. Call me a clown again! I... Call me a clown! You never fought a gypsy king before, have you? You never fought a king before. After that fight, everyone became aware of how controversial and unpredictable Tyson Fury could be. However, the coverage he received revealed another side of him, which many people found insulting. In an interview with the Daily Mail that year, Fury was quoted making homophobic remarks, which triggered a chain reaction. He's been quoted as saying a woman's place is in the kitchen and on her back. Homosexuality, abortion and paedophilia. Them three things need to be accomplished before the world finishes. At that time, the BBC announced their nominations for the Sporty Award, and Fury was on the list. While Fury refused to apologise, a petition was initiated by LGBTQ rights activists, demanding his removal from consideration for the award. Of course, his response was the first thing the journalists wanted. They've accused you of misogyny, they've accused you of homophobia. No comment, don't even go there. No comment. The question that Boxing, we asked... please. Is Terminated. It... You want to know about any more of my opinions, consult Pope Rome. His reactions didn't help him, and the media began to question his place among the nominees. You it's... cannot be a dickhead and win Sports Personality of the Year. It's not that Fury didn't try to apologise, he just did it in his own special way, which wasn't very successful. Well, I've got quite a few gay friends actually, and, um, and if somebody didn't like gay people, then you wouldn't have any gay friends, would you? Just ask me then, ask me straight, are you a homophobe Tyson? No, definitely not. I wouldn't be a very good Christian if I hated anybody, would I? Eventually, the BBC opted not to remove him, although he didn't win. However, he was given the opportunity to deliver a speech during the ceremony. If I've said anything in the past that's hurt anybody, I apologise for anybody who's been hurt out there. It's not my intention to do that. The situation simmered down for a while until the shortlist for 2020 was published. And this is the message for the BBC on their spotty award. Please take me off your list. Fury was reportedly upset by his exclusion from previous lists, despite his notable impact in his initial bout with Deontay Wilder. He likely believed that while the petition didn't succeed initially, it influenced subsequent decisions, though he did have different explanations for his request. I don't need this, this, this glamorous trophy to say who I am and what I've done. Despite facing legal threats, the BBC once again included Fury in the list, even in the subsequent year. It's a rare occurrence in sports for a fighter not to desire winning an award, but Tyson Fury was never like any other fighter.